So yeah, we're here at Mac on the Zimmer Group stand, and I'm here with Richard, and we're going to talk about some of your products, Richard. Can we start here? Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, these are some of our clamping and braking elements, uh, which we do for use on linear rails. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have lots of different designs uh, to suit the different brands. Uh, so there's a different one according to uh, what, what the rail is the, uh, the customer's using. We do manual versions, pneumatic, uh, pneumatic which are spring assisted, so they can be used with, like, as a safety feature. Mm -hmm. uh, so in a power loss, they maintain the position. We also do brakes as well. So uh, a customer can hit an e-stop, for example. The brakes come on and it very quickly stops a moving load. Sure. High precision, no doubt. Uh, yeah, they are high precision, high repeatability. Um, customers use them to steady of access inside CNC machines as well, um, alongside the motor. So, uh, yeah, a product we're market leaders for, and it's a uh, yeah, really good one for us. I was going to say that, a big product for Zimmer. Mm -hmm. And if we take a look at the robot grip, it's fair to say this is what you're very well known for. Yeah, so um, our biggest area is actually end of arm tooling for industrial robots. So we do gripper components. We also have a systems division who can design and build a complete bespoke gripper solution uh, for a customer. Um, the grippers that we've got here, this is our GPP 5000 series. They've got completely sealed guides. So grinding applications where there's lots of swarf, coolant, stuff like that. Um, the, the ones here have a wiper on, uh, whereas we have a, um, an IP67 version, which is completely sealed. So that could be used on like, grinding applications, stuff like that, where you don't want to get sure. airborne dust onto the guides. Yeah. And it, it's, it's a good point, the machine in process, it's dirty quite often, isn't it? Lots of cooler flying around, mm. uh, obviously swarf and things like that. So it sounds like you've got all that covered. Yeah, it's, it's, it's important to have that uh, on board the gripper. So everything you see here is, um, these are all standard products. So the angle flange, the grippers themselves, the IP67 version, that's submersible up to, uh, oh, that's an electrical sound, submersible up to a meter underwater uh, without any ingress. That has slide plates on top. So there's absolutely no chance of getting any uh, unwanted items, uh, unwanted swarf or anything like that onto the guides. Sure, and the grippers themselves, they look 3D printed. Yes, the, these jaws have been 3D printed for the show. This yeah. is a design uh, we've got, but typically you'd make these out of either of aluminium or steel. Um, the, this is um, also an angle flange with two of our electrical grippers on board. Um, but again, these, uh, we, we do do a sealed version of these as well. Uh, but the ones you see here, obviously, you can see the guides, so you, you wouldn't want to get swarf or something into there. But we've got um, we've got a different gripper specification, basically, to cover all eventualities on the application. So yes, now we're here with Henry, and Henry, obvious what this is, but can we dive into a bit of detail, please? Yes, this is our Zemo. It's a mobile robot platform designed for helping with automation and machine tending purposes. Sure. So just, just talk us through what's happening here. So the idea is you'll have this base. Um, at the moment, we've got the ABV collaborative robot on it, but it, you can put any robot robotic system that you're using. The idea is you'll have your parts, your gripper on there. You can add what, however many tool changes you want for different grippers, different sensors, what have you. Um, part storage on the edges, but the, it's fully customizable to your application. And I can take this, presumably, from machine to machine. It's not boxed in a cage. It, you know, this is, is very user-friendly. Yes. So the idea is you can undock it, wheel it into position on your machine. Uh, once it's finished its processes, you can then undock it again, move it to the next process. And the great thing is it ha comes with sensors for four scanners, so you can include it in your safety. Um, for people maybe looking to get into automation for the first time, you know, when we look at the collaborative approach, mm -hmm. um, what's the advantage of a collaborative uh, robot and this sort of system ahead of like an industrial robot where I've got to have it all caged in with interlocks? Well, it allows you to, as we are now, stand this close to it without fear of you getting injured in this opportunity. So that ro the robot, the gripper, will stop if you exceed a certain force, whereas with the industrial side, you would need that caging to prevent that. The, the, with the sensors, when they're activated, as you get closer to the robot, it will slow down and stop mm -hmm. to prevent injury. But, like you say, fantastic for uh, machine tending. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you're going, with the robot head themselves, you've got, I don't know how many, but lots and lots of different ones. So how do we decide which one we're going to use? Well, for instance, if we go over here, this is uh, just a small sample of the kind of grippers that we have. It's from the servo gripper, so very similar to the one that we have on the Zemo. Uh, we, do some parts with Schmaltz for a vacuum side. Again, that's the same gripper we've just had. And then different servo grippers all the way down to electric and pneumatic grippers as well. So depending on what your application is, we can sort the right gripper. 
And me as an engineer, I'm not going to know your products that well. Mm. Is, is that what the software is for, to, so, so I can help? I can decide what product I need. Yes. Well, the software that's running on here now, the idea is you can program it. It's to help with the programming, the initialization, the setup, what you're looking for. But we do have configurators both for the Zemo and for your grippers on our website. So for people already adopting automation in their business or, or, or maybe people starting to look at automation, how do they learn more about Zimmer Group and how do they get in touch? Well, you can check out our website, it's a great stop. And we're also on LinkedIn and on all the different social medias as well.